They'll, they'll be walking by and they'll be going like this. It's the, the expression on their face yeah. is great. Their, their face goes all funny and they go, what? We thought it was a sea sponge. People believe that that's actually where the sponges come from. Actually, it starts off as seed. Obviously, we wait till they bloom. They get uh, to look like a little squash. At some point, the plant will decide that it's done growing and it'll draw all the moisture out and this will turn very yellow. This is the beginnings of a sponge. We, take, we break the end off, take the seeds out, and then we soak it. There you go, and you get the sponge. The advantage is that it's not synthetic. These things are 100% natural, 100% biodegradable. This was our dishwashing sponge. We used this for an entire year, and it never smelled. I started with a cactus garden when I was probably three and a half years old. And since then, I've grown everything that I could get my hands on. When my dear wife, Sherry, brought home that ugly old gourd is what we thought here years ago and then we moved out here I thought I'll just plant it and see and now we have a sponge business. <laughs> Lufus come in all shapes and sizes right next to each other you can have a huge one and a small one. The biggest problem I have is I have an overabundance of vines. This is what would happen if I didn't trim them every day. This is probably a week's worth of growth. <laughs> People are buying these for their feet. <laughs> 